Let's see if we can unpack the ear candling experiment using the thinking process. The first step of the thinking process is identify a point of contention and asking a question. In the ear candling experiment, our point of contention is that ear candling is a valid way to remove toxins from the body. Our question is, does ear candling really work? The second step is to propose a hypothesis. Our hypothesis is, if the process works, there should be some visible differences between the two candles upon close examination. The final step is to seek out evidence to determine if your evidence is plausible. So we tested the ear candling technique both on a live participant and on an inanimate model of a human head. The results were conclusive. The same residues were present in both candles. Where does this waste come from? Most likely, the brown substance is a result of the candle burning and not from drawing material from the ear canal. However, the experiment wasn't really conclusive. We could take this one step further by looking at the chemical composition of the residue collected in both ear candles and compare the composition. We can all learn a number of things from this experiment. This is not a single process. It could be cyclic and further experiments could be performed to confirm a hypothesis.